everybody. Hello, everybody. Hello, everybody. This is. Hello, everybody. Come on. Hello, everybody. This is. everybody, this is Elisa from HBox Pet Emporium. We're here to do a species spotlight on one of my personal favorites, the Kaiser Eye Newt, um, sometimes known as the Iranian Newt. We're trying to lure some of our friends out with some food here, but they might be kind of shy on camera. We'll give them a few moments. So these guys are super cool and fairly rare in the hobby. Um, there was a ban on importation of newts in early 2016, I believe January of 2016. So all of the newts you will find now are all going to be captive bred. So originally the Kaiserai newts were coming from the Loristan and Kurzistan province in southern Iran. They come from very mountainous regions, so very think like rocky, kind of cool. Um, I'll try to attach some habitat photos to our file when we upload it because we have some super cool like in on-site photos of these guys in the wild. Um, ooh, here we go. You got it? It's coming out. So these guys are our full-grown group. Um, we've been raising these for you know three to five years and then we've introduced a new bloodline from our friends at the Denver Zoo this past year as well so all of the newts in this tank are between three and eight years old so they are full grown full grown individuals um, they're quite social as far as newts go a lot of times you can even raise the young in the tank with the adults which is kind of cool um, as long as everybody's pretty well fed and they all have space they do pretty darn well together Right now we have them in a standard 20 gallon long sized tank um, which we plan to upgrade so right now it's a 30 inch tank we plan to upgrade to a 36 inch tank in the future with the addition of our most recent group um, but if you're just looking to keep a couple newts then you know something as small as a 10 gallon for one or two and these guys the one thing to keep in mind with these guys if you decide to take on the challenge of keeping them is they do like it cool so the temp in here right now is a a little bit chilly um we're kind of keeping them in like that that winter diapause kind of a little bit of a that stasis state at around 60 degrees and then when the springtime comes we'll warm them up closer to 70 degrees um, and it's that springtime warm up that'll hopefully cross your fingers get them to uh you know produce some some babies for us that would be pretty darn sweet i think so clean clean cool clear water you know mountain regions these guys so you know you just gotta think clean clear and cool um right now we are giving them a little live black worm treat so they're kind of they're probably they're smelling it in the water now so they're kind of coming out and starting to explore and they'll see the movement there um, but really they'll follow their noses because we also feed like um, meaty sinking like pelleted food for amphibians, frozen bloodworms, frozen mice, um, sometimes even small crickets and fruit flies dusted in calcium. <coughs> um, but yeah, I think uh, these guys probably considered a little bit more advanced just due to their um, lack of availability in the hobby um, probably would not be recommended for somebody just getting into amphibians um, unless you're very confident that you can give them the, the conditions they require but some of the more slightly more common ones like alpine newts marble newts rib newts would be good to kind of wet the toes a little bit if you're looking to start to get in amphibians because a lot of the care is very similar but some of these other species might be a little bit more forgiving um, of, of beginner's mistakes as opposed to the Kaiser eye here. So if you would like more information on Kaiser eye newts or just newts in general, if, in fact, if anybody just wants to chat amphibians, then you can call us at the store. You can email us, message us on Facebook. Uh, there's lots of ways to get a hold of us. So please don't hesitate to call and ask. We love, love, love our amphibians here, um, and we'd love to talk to you about them. Um, shop online at natureboxpet.com, and please like, share, and subscribe to our channel below. Um, we would love that, and we appreciate all of you. Thank you very much.